Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can change the background color of your sections as the user scrolls down the website. And it's a really cool and actually pretty easy, simple effect to create. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are inside of Wix Studio and the first thing I want to do is kind of set up our section. So in order to do this background, color change effect what we need to do is kind of set up our page sections as if it is one section so for example on our website we might have like three or four different sections but in this case because we're trying to add kind of like a scroll effect to the background we kind of need to set up all of these four sections inside of one section so so the first thing i want to do is add a container and we're going to stretch it then under layout we're going to apply the CSS grid and under layouts, we're going to create a custom grid here. So what I want to do is let's say we want four sections on this page or at least for the background scroll effect, right? So we're going to set this to four rows and press apply. Now for these four rows, what I like to do is just kind of start out initially by setting each one of these rows to 100 VH. So what I need to do first is click the min max option and set this to VH. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each one of these. Now VH stands for viewport height and viewport height basically states that whatever device our user is on, it's a percentage of that height. So for example, let's pretend that this little fake device that we see on our canvas slash artboard is the device that we're viewing it on. So this 12.6 is 12.6% of our height of our fake device. So let's say someone is on a big monitor or a tablet or a mobile device. If we set this to 100%, then it's gonna take up 100% of our viewport. And so what we're gonna do with each one of these rows is we're just gonna set each one of these to be 100 for now. This will change as we design the sections and then for the grid gap, what I actually like to do here is go ahead and set a 50 VH as the grid gap. So as you kind of see when we scroll, there's like this big gap in between each one of our rows. And that's gonna kind of help us um, with the scroll effect. Now, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add some padding. So typically on the left and right hand sides, I always like to have about 5%. And I'm also going to remove the background color because frankly, if this does have a background color, we won't be able to see the background color change. So we want to remove that. And then what I want to do is go ahead and start designing our sections. Now, what I will say is for each one of these, I'm going to add a container. I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to add to the top and bottom. I'm going to add 6.4 VH height to it. And I'm going to remove the background color. And then I'm gonna add a CSS grid. Each one of my rows here, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. And I'm going to go ahead and design the section really quickly. Okay, so now we are back and I've designed four different sections for us. So you can see the top one, we have this section. It's kind of like the hero section of the page. We have this nice little kind of scroll effect thing where the text kind of reveals as the user scrolls. If you're interested in learning how to do something like this, let me know in the comments below and I'll teach you. And then we have just this very simple video and then we keep scrolling down and then we have the get started here. Um, you'll also kind of notice in the background, I added some grid lines. So if I just go over here to the layers panel and drop down the section, you're going to notice kind of two things. I have a container that contains the grid lines. So if I just kind of go ahead and hide this top section or top, uh, container really quickly you can kind of see the grid lines container is just four different columns and then inside of it I've added three lines and these lines are set to five percent opacity and one width and I just kind of stretched it so that's basically all I did with the grid lines and then I added the content container which is what I just showed you how to do a minute ago and for the top one I named it one then the second part I named it two then the third section is three and then the fourth section I named it as four. So you can kind of see how I did that there. Um, but now what we need to do is actually go ahead and set up our different colors. So 
What I want to do now is go ahead and grab the background, or I'm sorry, the section here in the layer panel, and I want to add an element, and we're gonna select container. Now with this container, it's gonna add it somewhere on the page, typically in the middle, and we're just going to go ahead and stretch it. And because we stretch it, it typically sends it to the back. Now what I want to do here is, you know, we have four different quote unquote sections on our page here or on our section here. So what we're gonna want to do is maybe cycle through three different colors. Maybe the top will leave it as white uh, and then as we scroll down, it changes to our first real color. So let's just for fun, choose a color for this section. Maybe let's choose this color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this color and I'm just gonna add it to our color themes here. And so what I want to do now is grab our background color and we're going to go ahead and change this to our background color like that. And what I want to do is go ahead and name this container um, background color. And we're gonna say this is two because what we want to do, we're naming it two because we want this to appear when we see section two, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and name that two just so it's a little bit easier for us to correlate two with two okay then what we're going to want to do is with these sections selected let's go and add another container we're going to go ahead and stretch it and just like the first one it kind of added it to the background so if i go ahead and let's hide the first one you can kind of see it's the gray background and that's the container again so with this one maybe we want to do something like this light blue i don't know why not and what we're going to do is just name this one background color three and then last but not least let's go and hide this one let's grab the section let's add one more container we'll stretch it to the background and for this one let's go ahead and set this to be like Let's say, let's make it black. And now that we have set this container to black, let's go ahead and name this one background color four, okay? Now here at the bottom, I do want to do a specific effect, okay? So I want this text and stuff to appear as it transitions from color three to color four. So what I want to do in order to make that happen is I want to show color three really quickly and I want to grab all of these and I want to set these to be the same color as color three. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to color three. Um, actually, I want to design this a little bit differently. So I'm gonna remove the background color. Let's add a border of one pixel. Maybe even like a 12 pixel radius. And then for text, we'll also set this to our color here. So now what that means is when color three gets hidden and we start seeing the black color, you'll now see the text here at the very bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and reshow all of our content here. And what I would like to do here in the layers panel is just kind of reorder this from uh, two to three to four to two. Okay, so we're just kind of flipping the order um, really quickly. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start coding. Now this is a very simple code, very, very easy to understand and everything. So um, just follow along very closely. This won't be too complicated. I won't even be including this on my website or link because it's, it's that easy. So what we're gonna do is go to the coding panel and we're gonna press start coding. And with the layer panel selected, what we're gonna do is turn on display IDs really quickly. And what we're gonna do is say background color four. We can just call this one BG4. And let's just go ahead and do that for each one of these, just so we know what we're referencing when we are coding. So I'm just gonna call these background colors BG2, BG3, BG4, okay? Next, what we need to do is go ahead and name these containers here. So what I'm gonna do is say sec one, and that's for section one. We're gonna call this one, we'll call this one sec two, sec three, and last we'll say sec four. Okay, 
So now we've kind of named everything and we can even turn turn this back on and kind of see we have sec one, sec two, sec three, sec four, and then we have BG one, two, and three. These, I'll just go ahead and name these even though you don't need to. But I'm just gonna call these grid lines. Uh, and then this one's going to be content container. Okay. So that way you just don't get these confused because we're not really referencing those. Um, but what we want to do is with BG4, which is our black color, what we want to do is go ahead and set this to hidden by default. We're gonna go ahead and do that with BG3. And we're also gonna go ahead and do that with BG2. Okay, so basically what that just did is at the very top, when I go ahead and preview the website, that means all of our background colors that we applied are not visible, right? Okay, so now what we need to do is when we scroll down, we want BG2 to appear when we hit the second section or sec two, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab sec two. You can grab it here in the layers panel if you want as well. And what we're gonna do is come over to property and events. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna say on viewport enter. Now, earlier, I kind of showed you guys what viewport meant, right? So viewport is the percentage of our screen, right? So basically what this code is saying is as soon as section two enters our viewport, which you can see right here, it's entering, right? We want something to happen. So what we all we want to do is we want to grab BG2 and show it, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say dollar sign W and I'm gonna grab, you can kind of see it like uh, suggest something. So I'm gonna grab BG2 and I'm gonna say show and add some parentheses. And if you want to fade in, which is probably what you would want to do, we're gonna add some quotes and say fade. Okay. So now if we go up to the very top of the website and simply just preview, and wait for it to load everything really quickly because sometimes it can take a little bit, especially while I'm recording. But if I go ahead and scroll down, you can see it now transitions to the color. I will say I'm not a really big fan of this gray on the yellow, but that's something I can change as I tweak the design and not part of the tutorial. But point being is you can kind of see it transitions. Now, one thing you'll notice is if I scroll back up to the top, it doesn't transition back. So what we now need to do is we want to grab section one and we're going to scroll down and we're just going to on viewport enter. And for this, what we want to do is grab the BG2 and we're going to say hide. And just like before, we're going to add the fade just like that. And that's all it is. So once again, we're going to go ahead and preview the website. Wait a second for everything to load. And we're going to scroll down and see it transitions nicely. And if we scroll back up, you're going to see it transitions back very nicely. So we're going to be taking this exact same code and steps that we did for section one and two. And we're just going to simply be applying that to section three and four. So for example, if we go down to section three, what we want to do is we're going to scroll down to on viewport enter, and we're going to add this little function here. And what we want to do is we want to grab BG3 and we want to show it. Okay. And if we go up to the top and we reach section three, you're going to see it transitions. But of course, if we scroll back up to section two, you're going to see that it doesn't transition back to the yellow. And why is that? Well, if we take a look here at our layer panel, we can see BG2 is under BG3. So when we scroll down to the section three, we show background three, but when we scroll back up to section two, we now need to hide background three again. So when we're on section two, we now need to also go ahead and grab BG3 and we need to hide it. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and with the code area here, I'm just going to kind of make it a little prettier. Okay, and, and one thing I will also note is I want to reorder this really quickly. 
So I want section one on top and section two at the bottom. Just for ease for us, so we can read it a little easier. Section one, section two, and section three. Okay, perfect. And then last but not least, we need to do the same thing with section four, right? So section four, we're gonna say on viewport enter. What we want to do is grab BG4, so dollar sign W, we're gonna grab BGW, and we're gonna say sh dot show, parentheses, quotes, and type in fade, okay? And last but not least, when we scroll back up to section three, just like we did with section two, we then need to hide section four. So we're gonna press enter, we're gonna say dollar sign W, BG4, dot hide parentheses quotes fade and we'll end it with whatever this thing's called again because i'm brain farting but point being is now that is our code right so if we go all the way up to the top of our website press preview kind of wait for everything to load really quickly then when we scroll down to section two you can see it transitions if we scroll down to section three it transitions to that color and last but not least, if, as we transition down to four, it transitions to that fourth color. And of course, when we scroll back up, it transitions back again for the second section. And then last for the white background here as well. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy effect. And if we take a look here at the code, all it really is is event handler for the section or content container in this case. And then it's literally just one line of code that grabs the background color and shows or hides it with a little fade animation to it. It's really, really that easy. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.